All right, guys, so welcome back to another podcast by Mining Store. In this podcast, we're going to be going through one of the key elements of the cryptocurrency industry, uh, and that's the mining. So basically, we're going to be going through what is mining and what is proof of work as opposed to what is proof of stake. Um, so let's start off with what mining is. Basically, when I like to teach people about what mining is, I like to compare it to the, the role that a bank teller at a bank performs. Uh, so when you go into a bank these days, and or probably not these days, you do it online these days, but when you used to go into a bank, you would tell the bank teller, look, I'm looking to transfer money to John. Um, his BSB and account number is this. They would put in John's BSB and account number, process how much do you want to pay John, um, and then they would put it through the system. Uh, when you're talking about cryptocurrency, uh, it's good to replace the role of the bank teller with a mining rig. So rather than going into the bank, you're pretty much going on to software on your computer called a wallet. Um, you're plugging in someone's, rather than their BSB and account number, um, you're going to be plugging in their wallet address. Um, you tell the software how much money you want to transfer um, and then that software essentially is sent to a pool of transactions and rather than the bank teller uh, performing the, the, the data keeping in terms of recording that where the money has been transferred to, you have a mining rig which is a powerful computer uh, which records that transaction. So. That's the first thing to understand. Basically, rather than having bank tellers processing transactions, you have computers uh, processing transactions. Um, the second thing to understand is you're not operating in a centralized environment. Um, rather, you're operating in a decentralized environment. So with the bank, you um, you might be trusting whether it be ANZ or, or the, the NAB. Um, you would go in and you would trust them to hold your money for you for a start. And you would also trust their system and, and records uh, of data uh, are correct. Um, and that, that that bank teller puts in the right BSB and account number and, and makes a successful transaction. Um, with cryptocurrency, you're not relying on a central party. The, the blockchain is what you're relying on, and that's a decentralized platform. So rather than ANZ or NAB being the ones that uh, support or, or facilitate the infrastructure for transactions, uh, it's a blockchain supported by all of the mining rigs. Um, so the, the central platform, I suppose, in a way, um, which connects all of these decentralized mining rigs is the blockchain. And that's where the, the data is recorded. So no one owns that blockchain. It's owned by, I suppose, each an individual node um, or mining rigs. So nodes and, and mi mining rigs are, are similar, I suppose, um, around the world. And each one of those nodes are verifying that those transactions are correct. So when you put a transaction through, it goes into the pool. Um, all those those nodes, one of them will be um, picked to, to solve uh, that transaction because it's cryptic. And then basically all of the other nodes will verify that that transaction um, was solved correctly. It will then be added onto the blockchain and a new block will be formed with new transactions. So there's a couple of things in there that, you know, some people might have a couple of questions on. Feel free to, to shoot them through. Um, we do have a lot of content on our uh, website available to explain these kind of things. Or, of course, the best place to, to, to get further explanation is to jump in our um, community Discord channel. Um, jump in there. These questions are answered every day for newcomers that, that are coming across to the platform and, and looking to learn more about this industry. Um, we've got a lot of experienced people in there that put a lot of time and effort into to educating uh, pretty much everyone that's looking to get involved with cryptocurrency. Um, so never feel like there's a silly question to, to ask. Uh, everyone's always willing to, to share their knowledge on, on, on the industry. So that should give you a bit of an understanding of mining, um, blockchain, I suppose, and, and how you know this industry is not centralized, it's actually decentralized. Uh, the next thing to go into is there's two different types of um, ways that a blockchain can be supported, two main types. Uh, one is proof of work um, and one is proof of stake. Um, so proof of work is basically uh, your your classical or you know this is back in 2009 with Bitcoin. Um, it's being it, it's being supported by these mining rigs um, and it's actual hardware. So you plug it straight into you know it's a computer. You plug it into the the, the power socket. It draws power. It solves these transactions and and it, and it spits those transactions out onto onto the blockchain. So that's work. And, and, and basically the way that you know those transactions are legitimate is because other um, nodes around the world have 
have verified that they were correct. Um, so there's a lot of work being done there, as you can see. And the proof of legitimacy of a transaction is from that um, programming power and that work, uh, hence proof of work. So that's one way a, a blockchain can be um, supported, I suppose, or established. Um, another way you can see is called proof of stake. And, and back again to comparing it to like the banking industry, um, proof of stake is um, essentially a similar concept to, well, the, the way that the, the people are rewarded for the proof of stake is a similar concept um, to a bank, a term deposit at a bank. Um, so basically what happens with proof of stake is rather than you turning on your mining rig and you getting rewarded for the transactions that you're solving, you're instead locking up an amount of coin. Um, if it's, if it's say, for example, Loki, I, I refer to Loki a lot because they're a Melbourne based project and a project we, we heavily support. Um, say for example, it is a, a Loki, um, uh, node that you're, that you're running, um, through proof of stake. Um, basically you would lock up a certain amount of Loki coin um, and in return for locking up that coin and running a, a low power um, a service node, you are going to be rewarded back. So just to summarize that there, you've got the proof of work, which is solving really intense problems and being rewarded for it. And, 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 and the legitimacy comes from the proof of work. And then you've got the proof of stake, which rather than spending a lot of electricity and computing power, your, your legitimacy comes from locking up your coins for a certain amount of time and running a lower, a lower power cost service node. Um, Obviously, that's a very broad explanation of, of the two different types of, of mining that are out there on the market. Um, there's major advantages and disadvantages to both of them. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much just a, a bit of a rundown of what mining is, what proof of work is, and what proof of stake is. Um, as always, guys, leave your comments, uh, leave your recommendations on other podcasts that you'd like to hear. Uh, the feedback has been phenomenal. We've seen quite a few people come through on, onto the Discord channel, which has been awesome. Um, we're up to a bit over 500 members now, um, and we're really looking forward to, you know, I suppose our aim is to, you know, we, we established Mining Store to bridge the gap um, for Australian investors and, and investors abroad um, looking to get into cryptocurrency. Uh, our bread and butter basically is the, the mining solution side of things. So generating passive income through mining. Um, but really, we just have a, a big emphasis on educating people um, and spreading uh, the, the use case of, of blockchain and, and cryptocurrency. Um, so get involved there, guys. Um, don't hesitate to, to join the Discord. Um, and I'm looking forward to, to meeting you all and helping you guys understand a bit more about cryptocurrency, mining, and blockchain.